20 Soviets of the 24 fighters around, three Americans going for gold medals, and one Venezuelan. He is Angels Pedroza, a lightweight, uh, a light uh, welterweight, who beat American Stanley Longstreet to get to the gold medal uh, match. Pedroza met Soviet, uh, the Soviet Union's Igor Ruznikov for the gold medal. And for the action, let's go back to the Olympic sports complex, Don Chevrier and Paul Horney. The light welterweight showdown of the Goodwill Games. A dandy boxer from San Carlos, Venezuela, Angels Pedroza, very impressive here. In against Igor Ruznikov of the Soviet Union. Yet another Soviet in the final as 20 have made the gold medal bouts here in Moscow tonight of the Goodwill Games. The referee, Andrew Beck of the United States. He might have his hands full here. This kid can fight. And held Pedroza, 19 years old. He's silver medalist at the World Championship. As a lightweight, he's been boxing since he was six, Don. Got good footwork. He tends to stay busy all the time. He got a break at the semifinal. Takimo for the Soviet Union, unable to meet him in that bout, a walkover for him. He defeated uh, Longstreet of the United States in his first bout. Ruznikov beating Roy Jones of the U.S. 4-1 in the semifinals, but looked tired there in the third round. And against Pedroza, boy, you better have something left toward the end, because he does not wear it out at all. Up on his toes, dancing nicely. The boxer from Venezuela, who is just 19 years old, and many think he's got an outstanding pro career ahead of him if he develops the way they think he will. Gave a lot of those Ali moves after one of the fights. Gave him a little thrill, danced across the ring. Kind of a hot dog, but uh, he can he can fight. And that can do you in conceivably in international judging in the amateur level, too. If you do too much of that, they'll turn on you for it. The judges, with Urbeck, the referee not voting, are from Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, Ireland, and from uh, West Germany. He's going after Ruznikov. He's the aggressor. He's coming forward. Ruznikov very wary of him right now. He's a couple of years older at 21 and an inch taller than Pedrosa. Quite the Soviet champion at this division, the light welterweight. Pedrosa, three-time Venezuelan champion, three years in a row, and a couple of South American championships he has picked up as well. Very quick hand. Although not using combinations at this stage, mostly the left hand with the jab to push his man back. Halfway through the first round. Again, Pedroza coming up short, but he tries to throw the right. Not that time, though, it got through. Caution from Urbeck, the veteran referee from the United States. Ruznikov, uh, one of the bouts I remember, he got very tired in the third round. He beat Roy Jones of the USA, 4-1 to in the semi. There's a left from the Soviet. Pedroza dancing, getting inside, pounds the left hand of the body with less than a minute to go in the first round. These are light welterweights at 139 pounds, the way Jerry Page of the United States fought out of the Olympic Games. Just three Americans qualify for the finals, and the one Venezuelan, this man, Angels Pedrosa, the 19-year-old. Everybody else wearing the colors of the Soviet Union. And if you don't know the tune of the beautiful Soviet national anthem after this night, you never will. <laughs> Inside 20 seconds remaining in the first round. An impressive round, but an outstanding one for Pedroza, who looks like he's just got the engine started here and beginning to roll. Caution there by Urbeck. Less than 10 seconds to go. Some whistles you hear in the crowd. They don't like Rizna call backing up all the time. Well, he hasn't got much choice the way Pedroza's coming. There's the bell to end the first round. <laughs> and Urbeck of the United States brings Angels Pedrosa with a blue sash from Venezuela and Igor Ruznikov of the Soviet Union together in the second round of the light welterweight gold medal battle of the Goodwill Games here in Moscow. The Soviet, forced to back up almost throughout the entire round, has been told now by his corner to get more active and take uh, a more aggressive stance. But against Pedrosa, who keeps on coming, that is very difficult. Absolutely. Pedrosa may have uh, won the first round, 20 to 19, but the Russian Soviet starting off quickly here in the second round. Back to a better start than we saw earlier from him. Pedrosa did not sit down between rounds. You notice, Paul? Absolutely. On his feet, while the Soviet rested on his stool across the ring from him. Soviet 
the Southern Republic of Kazakhstan. You know where that is. I know where the Soviet Republic is. <laughs> I just won't take on the pronunciation you just pronounced. Kazakhstan. Ah, very good. All right. Two minutes to go here in the second round. Pedrosa wants to leave with a gold medal. And he'll have a lot of time to look at his medal before he does get home because he's got some bizarre travel arrangements made leaving about, Moscow. How about his flight arrangements, folks? He flies tomorrow to Havana. He connects on the next flight. It goes to Venezuela next Saturday. Six days later. You talk Six about a long later. connection. Sounds like he's got the same travel agent I used to have. <laughs> A minute and a half left in the second round and in this light welterweight title fight. Pedrosa, not as impressive in the first round and more activity from Rushnikov has prevented that here in the second. He's missing more now as you see, a little wilder coming up short. Rushnikov still running. He'll stand there and hold his ground and get a combination on. This stylish South American boxer would be a favorite and a crowd pleaser almost everywhere except here in Moscow where this predominant Soviet crowd has the number in the area of 50 to 16,000 plus here. The biggest crowd we have had at this venue. They put in 22,000 here for a U.S.-Soviet dual meet in January. Not much of a second round. Not really is Pedroza failed to sustain the momentum he got going on the first round. It's still boxing well enough to be at least on even terms here in this round. The Soviet has been much more busier, though, and effective there. Scores with a good right hand as the crowd finally responds. They don't miss too much. Rosa stuck the left at his face that time and continued to dance around this ring. We now have 10 seconds to go in the second round. Good right left throw. Combination by the Soviet, but then he backs away after doing that. He doesn't go in and add any more. There's a right by Pedroza, left missing at the bell to end the second round. <laughs> round three, the light welterweight gold medal bout. Igor Ruznikov with a much better second round. They will just delay a minute here while they mop some water out of the Venezuelan corner. Boy, he counterpunched well in that second round. I think this is uh, maybe Pedroza first round and then uh, the Soviet in the second round. I agree, both by about a one-point margin. But Rosa failed to sustain what he got going in the first round. He comes at him with a good shot. Left hand. And there is Urbeck ruling it is only a slip. It's that water in the uh, corner that took the Soviet down, but it did coincide with the left thrown by Pedroza. And he continues now to bear in on the Soviet. Takes the down again. That's water in the other corner. We got a, a flood in here. That's from all the uh, water thrown on the boxers at the end of the round and uh, we've seen this on several occasions the last seven or eight days they don't mop up too well sometimes and Ruznikov has found the wet spot both sides of the ring just 30 seconds gone on the third round but Rosa coming on now like gangbusters here good fast hands in response for the Soviet Ruznikov but he is running, and well, you can't do much when you're backing up like that. But he counters with five uh, scoring punches. Oh, he's a Pedroza good counter puncher. Punch but he is on the defensive and forced there by Pedroza. Albeit he is handling himself well, but the tough spot to be in, you run the whole round back. There's one, two, there's three. Pedroza had not hit him yet. Goes to the body, gets to the head with a looping hook that grazes him. Look at that. There's but three, there, four, two of them. Yep, that's the left by Pedroza. Five to one. There's Soviet. A little short that time with it. Yep. Good third round. Still almost two minutes remaining. Pedroza a little bit wild. I know, I know it means a lot to be an aggressor, but if you're missing with your punches the way Pedroza is, and the Soviet is not missing his counter punches that much. Oh, he's very accurate. Look at there. There's three, four, five, six. And Pedroza didn't lay a hand on him. Just got the uppercut there at the end. One tough Soviet, Igor Ruznikov, 21 years old. Twice the Soviet champion. And looking for a gold medal here in the Goodwill Games in the light waterway division. 
He's got a minute more to go. He got hit with a good right hand. He did the right there. Followed up by another right. Wide open. Slugfest center of the ring. Caution from Urbeck, the American referee. Right from the Soviet. He does catch him time and time again coming in. Blood now from the mouth of the Venezuelan from San Carlos. And Hells Pedroza. Well, he's for the Soviet scores. He's going for the home run, and then Don, he's just cocking that right. Here it comes. Wow. Pedroza hasn't changed, though. He continues to come in. The Soviet stands his ground. Carter punches. Hard chopping right hand and a combination to the body. Pedroza with the left. Jams the right up on the jaw of the Soviet, Ruznikov. 20 seconds to go on the bow. Comes the right. Entertaining Sorry. third round, waiting in with it. Again, he just sets it up and wants to throw it. Good combination by Pedroza there. And the judges will have a decision to make. You go for the aggressiveness of Pedroza, who did miss a lot coming in, but also scored his share. Or do you support the counterpunching? Uh, Igor Ruznikov of the Soviet Union. They'll take it right down to the final bell here. He's light weatherweight putting on a good third round show. Caution for a low head to Pedroza. The Venezuelan boxer at the bell is finally over. Good foul. It was a dandy bout, especially in the latter stages. And we'll be back for the decision. Well, we await the decision between Enhels Pedroza and Igor Ruznikov for the light weatherweight gold medal. And Urbeck, the American referee, collecting all the judges' scorecards who are from Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, Ireland, and West Germany. But Ruznikov, who seemed a little undone in the early going by Pedrosa's aggressiveness and flashy style, stood his ground and punched hard with authority when he responded. That might have been enough to turn it around, certainly in the third round for him. And Ruznikov has won it. Urbeck is not sure which hand to lift. Now he knows the Soviet. All five judges say he beat Enhels Pedroza at Venezuela for the gold of the light waterway class. Soviet domination never so apparent in boxing. The U.S. is most